Almost. Not oh, quite yet. You? Oh, never mind. Anything you say, though, could be live. Canon will be used YouTube against you. YouTube is live. <coughs> Have they stayed on the British ones? Can be taken into evidence and used for something. Facebook is now live, too. Hey so, there! Hello, hello, everyone! Let me see. Oops. Ah. Facebook is on. Let me check it out. YouTube's on. Ah, there's YouTube. Jamie's on. And Dave. They're on his rage table. <laughs> Dave with his rage table? Yeah. That's rage table. <laughs> okay. Yes. Don't you see the guys throwing the table? Uh, here we go. Okay. No. Hi. <coughs> I think if the guys are throwing the table, their mother better turn them over their knee and spank them for oh. acting that way and not having self-control. Mother, it's a meme, okay? It's a not in real life. Daisy, oh. Kim, Turid, Cassandra, Nancy. It's for the views. Heather. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <coughs> Angela says, Christmas? No, I'm just showing you guys something. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, no, it's not Christmas, but I'll show you in just a minute. But this is the wreath that I made for my sister-in-law that I'm, that we're taking day after tomorrow. And you guys won't get to see it. So I thought I would show it to you now. Show it to you now. I thought I was being kind and considerate. <laughs> Should I just take it away? No, I'm using my fall mug for the last time. You're not going to use it after we get back? Nope. It'll be Christmas. Okay. Nicole says, I was just thinking about making this tomorrow for the first time. All right. Well, guess what? That'll be two of us because I've never made this before. What? I thought you had. No. Who makes it when we eat it? My mother or my grandmother. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this show might end up as interesting as Monday's show. <laughs> oh, probably not. How can you go wrong on stuffing, she says. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay here's the deal this homemade stuffing dressing whatever you want to call it recipe is in the 20th anniversary edition of dining on a dime but <gasps> what? if you want in the classic dining on a dime we have a homemade stuffing mix recipe now why did i do that I have no idea. No, actually, I do know why I did that. Because when I asked mom for the recipe for the original book, she said, oh, it's kind of hard to explain how to do it because we kind of just throw stuff in. So we didn't put it in here. Finally, <coughs> what, 17, 18 years later, I had her figure out what she just throws in. And here it <coughs> is, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. So this, I think, is in the new, is this in the new edition? I uh, think it is. Actually, I'm saying that, and I don't know. Go look and see real quick. How would we know? Well, you look up the book, and, you, and then you type in stuffing. You have the new edition on here? Will you I put have... it on there? On your computer? Mm -hmm. I have no idea where it is. Well, do a search. For what? I, I don't remember sending it to you at all. You do... You do command and right there, twentieth anniversary. This oh. Let's see if it's actually in there before I tell people it's in there. Stuffing. I don't know. Maybe we didn't put it in there. No results found. Did you not put it in there? Oh no! Did we not put it in the twentieth anniversary? Well, I could go. Well, I could look on my computer, but you needed to give me two minutes notice so I could do it before the show was started. <clears throat> what? Well, how does it not have stuffing? Because we still have stuffing mix. What's it called on here? That all made stuffing. What? What? What's your book called? No, don't open it. It'll crash the show. Oh. Oh, I don't think. <laughs> so I don't know. Hold on. He's looking in the index here. Stuffing. Let's see if this. Oh, stuffing mix. Oh! We didn't put it in the 20th anniversary edition. What? I'm sorry. So we'll, so we'll have to add it to the new book then. Oh crud. Okay. Wow. Oops. Okay, I just lied to you, so just ignore everything I just said and just go to our website to get the recipe. <laughs> All right. Just print it out and paste it in your book. And... All right. Oh my, it sounds like Attack of the Geese out there. Oh yes, it does. Oh my goodness. So I am adding, I am sharing this recipe in the description, and it's also 
in the show notes at livingonadime.com. So this recipe is in our Thanksgiving for $25. Oh, right. Um, and since um, Monday's show went south so quickly, I didn't get to do the breakdown of prices. <laughs> and if I get a chance on this show, I might talk to you about that a little bit. We'll see. But, okay. Uh, is, so. So is stuffing the same thing as dressing? Yes. It's Aha. the same thing. Okay. It depends on what part of the country you're in. And I don't make cornbread stuffing. We don't like cornbread stuffing. Well, I just don't like stuffing at all. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest with you. Not that I would lie, but um, I just really don't like stuffing. And so <laughs> we're going to make a half a batch of this one because Wait. Mike's the only one who's going to be eating it. But can you cook the rest Yum. just so Dave can I love it, too. It's good stuff. This is a hamburger. It's sausage. Oh. Um, so Two Family Homestead says, this recipe is $25? No. Actually, no. all the recipes on that page together are $25. No. All the recipes on that page, including all the menu um, on how to do Thanksgiving dinner is $25. Yeah. By the way. But this recipe by itself is probably <clears throat> too bad. Um, if you make a full batch, it's around... At around three dollars, depending on how much your sausage is and if you get it on sale or not, you can get sausage for two or three dollars a roll. So you can do it for around two to two fifty. Happy birthday to Out of Goshen's baby! I know it was Don't so cute. <coughs> Out of Goshen yeah. had their baby, and it was so cute. He's Cuddly. a cute little boy. Maybe we should have another one. So. <laughs> what do you think? Go ahead, have fun. Let's, they named him Tovia Eliyahu. Just don't rely on me to take care of him. Tovia Eliyahu, I think she said. He's a cute so little baby. He's a cute little baby. So excited. All right. So Suburban so. Hilly and Two Family are both saying, no fires today, please. <laughs> so let's talk about fires for just a second. So, I don't know, it went viral. Did you guys see <laughs> my fresh and clean oven? Oh. Okay. What? But Wait, look they what didn't I... see it. He's just turned the camera down. Oh, but... Yeah, it's completely clean. It's hard to see. But, but eh. zoom in back here, Dave. Look what I did yesterday. Well, actually, there's two things. So, <laughs> well, that's... Are set ready. <laughs> this I have to take comment to from cleaning the oven, but right here, I tried to burn down the house yesterday with a candle. So, yeah. We thought it was worth the insurance. No. <laughs> Worth the insurance. <gasps> well made Millennial says really. sausage was on sale at Aldi today for under $2. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take up 8 to 10 cups of dried bread. Now, for your dried bread, this is a great recipe, you know, a couple of months ahead of time to be saving up all those ends and pieces of bread, all those breads that are like the heels that the kids don't want to eat, the crusts that the don't, kids don't want to eat, um, that bread that the kids left the bag open, that got um, stale. stale and hard. In Colorado, we're fortunate because it's so dry here that our bread will literally dry out in like three hours if the bag is left open. So that's great when you're wanting to make stuffing like today and I didn't have any bread saved up so I just popped it on the table. I popped it on the counter. <laughs> Actually I threw it in the oven and then I popped it in the counter but um, if you don't have dry bread you can do like me and I put mine in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes and let it get all dried out. Um, probably could have gone a little bit drier. If you have a toaster and you feel like toasting it, you could toast your bread and dry it out. That way is fine. Now, like I said, I've never made this recipe before because I've only made Thanksgiving dinner once and um, mom and grandma always make the stuffing, so. Sorry, uh-oh, uh Tara's turning into a pyromaniac. <laughs> Yep. Actually, I've been a pyromaniac. She's always been a pyromaniac. Life. This is nothing new for me. That's <coughs> what's really sad. And somebody said, who is that said? Wanda, Mike, she really wants to move. Keeps trying to burn the house down. Gotta love it. 
If you could have seen my kitchen the last couple of weeks with doing the Christmas videos and wreath and finishing up the Christmas soaps, you could see how badly I want to move. I don't think we've seen our kitchen table for two weeks. <laughs> no, I see it right now. It's not that dirty. It's That's covered! Not, no, not completely. Not compared to what it was the there's other day. There's like a foot open. No, there's more. You could probably hmm. make enough for at least three people to sit there and eat. Yeah, if you guys missed it the other day, we had a, a brilliant show. It was really great. Lots of good Thanksgiving recipes and everything was awesome. And right at the end, we set the oven on fire. <laughs> Thankfully, you saved all the food, but it was pretty hilarious. If you didn't see it and you need a good laugh, you should go to our YouTube channel. Uh, was it on Facebook too? You should go to our YouTube channel, <laughs> at Living on a Dime. It's right there. It's pretty hilarious. Okay. So this calls for eight to 10 cups. I have no idea how much this is. This is probably six, six maybe. Well, this might be eight cups. Six or eight cups, I guess. Now, of course, you can use this with gluten-free bread if you want. It would be super expensive, but you can use it with gluten-free bread. Okay, so cube and tear bread. Place in a very large mixing bowl and let it sit overnight if not dry enough. Well, we'll have to skip that step. Okay, now let me get my sausage here, which is starting to burn. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, oops. Okay. Well, we have well done sausage. <laughs> no, it's not on fire, but that was okay, guys. That's just the candle back there. <laughs> um. It does <laughs> Okay. Fry sausage and onions. So I don't have any onions, so I'm just going to use onion powder. And then mom doesn't like celery, but if you like it, you can add it to your dressing at this time. So loud. What? Drain what? Are you just reading the, I think drain the sausage. Oh, uh, I think you should turn down the sausage. I did. Oh, okay. Just kind of. I know, it's a little burn. You said you liked it. No, burn, no, I was just so thinking we'll it's. Just go with it. It's just a little Drain and smoky. add to the bowl of bread. That makes absolutely no sense. She must mean drain the fat off the sausage, I guess. Okay, we need to fix that. Well, I thought that's what she meant, too. Oh, okay. Well, if people know it, that's what she means. Pour broth into a large measuring cup. Okay, so I don't have any broth left, but I've got some, um, what do you call this stuff? Gravy from the other night made out of the broth. So we're just going to use that. Oops, I'm not going to need that much. Okay. And pour margarine and bouillon cube in heat in the microwave. Okay, so my microwave is broken. So I boiled some water and I threw in my bouillon cube and I threw in my margarine. Okay. Add this. Pour this mixture and eggs over bread. Okay, here we go. Uh, will do, there be do, do, any do, do, Black do. Friday book sales? Yes. Dun, 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 okay. Dun. Well, if Mike gets the sale done, I don't know. We have one more working day and he's got about four videos and our Black Friday sale to put together. So <laughs> I have a feeling something's not going to get done. Oh, yeah. I was oh, gonna, we're not going to be here for Black Friday. I was going to make the sale a priority. I was wanting to buy this, these two things for my stuff. What do you want to buy? Um, it's a drawing tablet and a MIDI keyboard. And I think they go on sale on Black Friday. Cindy says she's sending you a big hug. Thank you, Cindy. She said you look like okay. you could use one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure if I should have said that or not. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Okay, so I got my eggs in here. Pour mix this mixture and eggs over bread. Add sage. I don't like sage, so we're not adding sage. Salt. Actually, let's just do this. 
salt, pepper, and onion powder if not using onions. Okay, so there we go, and I don't have any croutons, so I'm not putting those in. This is going to be a real interesting thing, isn't it? Michael likes everything garlic, so I'm going to make his a little bit more garlicky. By slathering. Brenda says the other day you were just trying to show everybody how to handle emergencies. See, there you go. Mike was noting afterwards, we didn't totally freak out and start screaming or any kind of thing like that. That was, I think, what I thought was funny about it. Okay. It's pretty cat normal in this family. No offense, Mom, but it, it's just like... Okay, it. wait a minute. Fry sausage and onion. <coughs> drain it. Oh, drain it out to the bowl of bread. Oh, oops. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done that because then the sausage is going to cook my eggs, which is probably not good. Okay. Oh. So... My sausage got a little bit on the well done side, so let's just ignore that, shall we? Okay. That's not burned, it's just. It's just extra well done. Crisp. Mike is concerned with food poisoning, so I Man. make sure it's very well done now. Between the sausage and the garlic, I'm just in heaven over here with the smell. Oh, well, good, because mm -hmm. you're going to eat mm -hmm. all of this. My answer is the Ellen worst. Asked Eventually, put, I guess. Ellen asked if you put eggs in it. Yes, I did. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take. And mush it all together, it says. And the eggs hold it together, is that what it is? Yes. Uh, Dan says you have to have sage to make it taste like dressing. Yeah, I don't like sage. But I'm not eating it, and we it wasn't worth me going and buying sage for this one recipe that I'm going to make once. So, just pretend, guys, like there's sage in here. What? Mike wasn't well, worth it? Well, just pretend like several things are in here. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Tilly Girl says, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any excitement. <laughs> I think everyone must have seen the fire show. <laughs> Here, I'm afraid. I'm going to disappoint you guys now. <laughs> okay, so. It was funny because I didn't see it till afterwards, but I just love when Tara says, so that's how you do it. <laughs> the expression is just priceless. <laughs> Does that look right, Mom? Hmm. She said don't substitute things. <laughs> I didn't substitute anything. I just I left didn't. some stuff out. <laughs> oh, well, that okay, so fun. here's a little tip. Pan. If you need to butter your pan, you can take the stick and go like that. But also save your margarine wrappers and you can do um, the edges too. This one didn't have hardly any on it, but we're going to... Get our pan all nice and greased up. Shannon says, you guys were all so calm about the fire. I just couldn't stop laughing because Tara couldn't stop laughing. It was great. <laughs> it was hilarious, actually. <laughs> okay, and we put, in case you guys were wondering, we put a new video up yesterday because um, I showed how to clean the oven, so I thought, well, we'll put that on it. That I think I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? My mother is... That looks like a big cookie mountain. You need five times the amount of bread, she says. Well, that was the eight cups that was in here. Uh-oh. <sighs> five looks... times the amount of bread. Okay. Well, we'll just have a three-hour show and have bread drying Let's out. Let's do this again. <laughs> that would be a really interesting show. Okay, just a second. Let me throw all these back in the oven again. Don't throw the wrapper in them. Okay, one. We'll dry them out here and see if we can do something with it. So we're gonna restart or are we gonna modify that? I'm just gonna modify that. Are you kidding me? I'm not wasting all those ingredients. <laughs> I'm frugal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we should have had mom do this recipe. Okay. So now we're going to wait for my bread to re-dry out. Oh, Nan says you have to have croutons to soak the moisture up or it will be really soggy. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Let's see. What should we do about that then? Uh, Your mom says the bread needs to be extremely dry. So that's what you're putting in. So in, we should try out the new toaster. All right. Let's get us some hamburger buns and we'll make some homemade croutons. Here we go. I suppose ugh, I should have tested this recipe first. 
All right, here we go. More croutons, huh? How many <laughs> of these do we need in here? Oh, yuck. <laughs> okay. So let's just Whoa, get all Dave, our get bread this. dried out here. Well, look at that. Wait, what? Okay. Mom's got like 40 pieces of bread in the oven. <laughs> oh, did they see it? There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, well, we're waiting for the bread and our croutons to come in. Uh, okay. <coughs> I thought that was about eight. Oh, Adam Goshen is on. Congratulations. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear baby Tobin. Happy birthday to you. Woo! <laughs> Finally! We're so happy. Okay. So Melissa says, I will eat mushy stuff if it has good flavor. So you're going to mix that with this to try to make it. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm letting my bread dry out, and then we're going to give it a try again, okay? All right. So while we're waiting for that... Here are some tips for helping you with Thanksgiving dinner. Now, I know I've only made Thanksgiving dinner once, but I have done Christmas dinner and Easter dinner and Halloween parties. So just because I haven't done Thanksgiving doesn't mean I don't know what I'm doing. So, okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll just ignore that little fact there. Here is how I save for some things. Now, this is mom's number one tip. And her number one tip is to use foil for everything. If you don't have foil baking pans, which you don't need to buy foil baking pans, just line your pans with foil. That will help with the cleanup immensely, make it so much easier, make it mostly disposable. Number two. Nothing's on fire, is it? No, I'm paranoid. Okay. No, Number two. How long does it need to go? Should I don't know. Timer? I'm just gonna wing it. Oh no. Um yeah. Well that'll be exciting. No, sorry. Use paper plates, glasses, and silverware. Now, my assistant Heidi will be the first to <laughs> argue with me on this one. Uh, but I will say on Thanksgiving Day nobody wants to be doing a ton of dishes it is a dollar at the dollar store for each of those so for five dollars don't you dare be giving me a kiss <laughs> everyone's telling me I should kiss you to make you feel better I'm like I don't think that's gonna make her feel better I told you <laughs> I just kind of looked over there and she's like It'll Kisses make don't better. make me feel better. Being left alone makes me feel better. Tea and foot massages and ba hot baths make you feel yes. better. Um, <laughs> okay, so for $5, you can buy silverware, glasses, and paper plates and napkins at the dollar store. That is one of the few things that is actually a good buy at the dollar store. That and party supplies is actually a good buy. Um... So I would really recommend for $5, I think it's worth not having to deal with dishes. Yes. Hmm? Oh, I thought you had a question. Okay. No. Um, next. I had it in my brain and it just left me. It wasn't on my list. A Let's saving see. thing? We were talking about saving yeah. by throwing or by not doing dishes, and I had another really good tip, and it just went right out of my head that I didn't have on my list. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, maybe it'll come to me. Okay, next. Um, <clears throat> for Thanksgiving breakfast, do something easy. My kids love the little bags. They call them donutties, but you know the little dug, the little They're mini donuts. They're actually called donettas on the front. Are they? Do Is it doing okay? Still white. Okay. 
Um, still white. Yes. Um, <clears throat> actually, maybe we should open that so that some of the steam from the moisture comes out. Okay. That's probably what we should do. Um, <clears throat> so make your Thanksgiving breakfasts easy. Have some orange juice. Have a bag of donuts. Make it easy. Don't be making bacon and eggs and French toast and all that crazy stuff, okay? That's just crazy to be cooking twice like that. All right. This is a special occasion. This is why you're being frugal the rest of the year. Okay, next. Don't make homemade biscuits. Ooh. What? Don't make homemade rolls. What? Those kinds of things. Now, I know I'm going to get lots of flack for this one. Here, you've been telling us to <coughs> save money by making our own food. And <coughs> but the canned them. rolls and biscuits are a dollar this week on sale. So, they are really cheap. use those. We love the crescent rolls. Those are our so favorites. Use those to... Um, Save yourself some time with the rolls. Use your garage as a refrigerator. Now, this is both before and after Thanksgiving. Now, my fridge really is not that big. And if I were to cook Thanksgiving dinner next week, there would be nowhere to put anything because just my normal sour cream, that kind of stuff fits in there. I don't have a second refrigerator. I know a lot of people do. We know Out of Goshen does now, but I don't. So what I do is I will stick stuff in my garage, <clears throat> wrap it up really well, put it in a cooler, however you want to do that. I'll be honest, I usually just set it on the workbench. I don't have a problem with mice or animals in my garage, so I just set it on my workbench covered with foil. Well, that's really but you could put it in a cooler or whatever and use your garage as a fridge. Yeah. We're getting close. Okay. Why do you have a dehydrator? It takes three months to dehydrate in the dehydrator. Uh, <laughs> okay, really? next. Make ahead as much stuff as you can. Now, I'm not the world's best at planning, as you know, by the show at the moment. But, Make ahead your casseroles, your jellos, cut up all your veggies, cut up all your fruits if you're having like fruit pie. Make ahead your pie fillings. You can make the pie filling ahead of time. Make your turkey and your gravy ahead of time. <gasps> guess, everybody guess. One, two, three. <gasps> but you can actually. You could do your turkey the day before, get it all picked off the bone, get your gravy all made. Put it in the fridge that night and then put it in the crock pot that morning with some turkey broth and nobody will even know your turkey wasn't completely fresh because it will just taste perfectly fresh. Okay? Um, <clears throat> don't make pie. <coughs> now, you can make your pie crust and your pie filling ahead of time, but if pies is not your thing, or like with us, we were just discussing what we were gonna do with our Thanksgiving dinner when we get to Kansas, after our trip, um, mom's the only one who really eats pecan pie, mom and Ellie. I'm the only one who eats pumpkin pie. Well, we're not gonna make a pecan pie and a pumpkin pie just for me and just for mom and Ellie. So, what we're gonna do is, you know those Edwards pies that are always on sale for $5 this time of year? We're just gonna get two or three Edwards chocolate pies. That sounds okay. See? <laughs> and we're going to use that. So it is okay. Just don't buy your pie crust. <laughs> if you're going to do pie crust, make pie crust because it tastes it's so much so better. It's so amazing. It's really good. Yeah, it tastes so much better. Okay. Next, set the table the day before <clears throat> and get it all set up. Okay? So don't be waiting until that morning. Get your table set up the day before. Get all your everything all nice. Have the kids make place cards if you're like Martha and want to do all that. Although if you're like Martha and want to do all that, I don't need to be telling you all this stuff. But, okay. Oh, dear. Okay, so I think we have our crew 
croutons now. Oh no, it's purple. And our extra All right. bread. Hey, Wait, croutons are just, are just bread buns, but uh, cooked, right? Yes. Okay, mm. here we go. <laughs> oh, what, Dad? Oh, people are still fondly remembering the fire from the other day. So, somebody was asking about how did the Thanksgiving dinner turn out? It actually turned out great. And even though we care we carefully got everything out of the oven when the oven got on fire. But we ended up, uh, we ate some of it and we took some of it to Tara's grandparents and they loved it. And our neighbors. Oh yeah. And, and our, our neighbors. neighbors it. Yeah, it yeah. was just great. She was all over it. It was, yeah. so it was really good. Everybody, actually, everybody really loved it. They all said that it was really super delicious and so, uh, yeah, it wasn't a failure. It was just a big hot mess ah! <laughs> for me to clean up later, which is the story of my life. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, okay, so we're adding more bread here, adding more bread. I'm pretty sure I did use eight cups. I mean, I didn't have the croutons, <coughs> but I'm pretty sure that was close to eight cups. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll add some more here. So I would have to wonder what happens if you slow cook a slow cooker. Just totally random question. If you slow cooked a slow cooker? Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I think Jack and I are getting a cold oh. now. <laughs> Here, I'll Google it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, so I don't know. How much more bread, mom? See if she says in there how much more bread. Okay. Uh, oh, sure. looking for oh, your, what your mom said. Oh, toasted some? I did. You want to She's mocking you. I don't know if you should, if we should ask her. She says, I don't think we should. Uh, oops. Let me go it's back to warm. you. It is warm. Put butter on it and knead it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm seeing if she has any. Last thing she said was, oh no, she's winging it. <laughs> oh, thanks, mother. Yeah, I don't see any comments from your Jack, mom. Jack, call me. Fill, she says, sure. fill the bowl to the top. Fill the bowl to the top. Okay. Jill says mix it as you add, different Jill says mix it as you add the bread. Although you already mixed everything, didn't you? I think oh, you're gonna need to put more to together. Okay. Put more what? I think if you, if you don't put more glop on there, it's not gonna mix in with the bread. No, it will. Will yeah. it? Okay. Jack. Yeah, it will. Yes, Heather, we still have Buster. Jack, you can, Dave, you can come back up. They don't need to see me tearing up 15 pieces of bread. Oh, well, I thought there was He's actually behind the camera. Right oh. Yeah. Well, I thought maybe he might have heard me say his name. <laughs> so for those of you who are wondering, yes, this is going to be our last show for possibly two weeks. We are leaving for vacation. Two weeks? And we are leaving for Kansas to go to Branson, Missouri. All of us except for our newly employed son, who's going to make a killing on Black Friday now. <laughs> Wait, he got accepted? He got the job! Oh, yay! So, Ooh. if you guys need a that phone from discounts. Verizon, <laughs> please go to the Longmont store and grab one from that handsome dude we all know. Although he'll go by Mike um, <laughs> at work, which is kind of freaky for us because since Mike. he's been working, people have been calling him Mike and... Everyone calls him Mike, even his It's girlfriend. a little weird because we're not used to calling him Mike, and I never wanted him to be called Mike, and quite frankly, I wish he would legally change his name to something else, but, you know, his mother Billy? can't do that, so. Can he be a Billy? <clears throat> Could he be a Billy? So, BJ, everyone, has a new job as a cell phone salesman. Do you think we could get a very good discount? paying job too? He was very excited about it. For those of you who say you need college to get a really good job, yeah. This is gonna be. He didn't even go to college. Really good. So he was uh, super super happy. So the turkey that the tar turkey recipe, you can make that in the crock pot, right? You can, yeah. Because somebody was asking. It's better in the oven, but you can do it in the crock pot. It just I don't know. Roasting it in the oven just tastes better. But you can do it in the crock pot. I'll share that recipe um, here. So we are um, going to Branson for our Thanksgiving. And we may not be back for the Monday after Thanksgiving. I found out yesterday that Ellie has that day off. So we might stay until Sunday just so we can visit the fam. And 
you know, because we've only been back there four times in the last four months. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you like your in-laws. I do, but uh, it's been too much traveling this year. Unlike some of us. <laughs> um, wow. So we, uh, we may not be back for the Monday show. I don't know. No, we'd be traveling that day, so we probably... I don't know. If we can sail in and get everything set up, yeah, or whatever. I, but it, it's probably going to be two weeks from today. Also, two weeks from yesterday, the 20th Anniversary Edition books and Penny Pinch and Mama and menus are all on their way. Oops. From the printer in two weeks. They're binding them as we speak. Well, actually, they're having to ship them to a different state to bind them. Your mom says, no more bread. <laughs> well, she told me I didn't have enough. I think it looks great. That looks perfect just like that. I bet this is going to work out great in the end. <clears throat> now I don't know if it's going to get cooked in time. Jennifer! Okay. No, All right. There. That does look a lot better. All right. Here we I'm go. Sure See, you. when you wing it, you just keep going, people. <laughs> you just keep going. I'm sure you will turn into something. You just keep stirring and adding things and changing things and then something something pops out and That's how God Okay. Did it. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> now, I wonder if that's salty enough. Oh, thank you. I Cheeky Saver says, I hope you guys have the most amazing vacation. And two family says, Enjoy your time away, you deserve it. Thank you. Um uh, Victoria is asking, would this recipe work the same with homemade bread? You just yeah. have you just have to it has it to be has to be really dry. Has to be really dry. So if you make yeah. homemade bread and like toast it or or let it yeah. get old or something. Actually this is a good way to use old bread as long as it's not moldy. Yes. But you can use old dried out stale bread. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for this. Yeah. Um <clears throat> so just so you know, approximately <coughs> two weeks from today we will be getting our books. But Ooh. then they just leave. Then the shipping will start around December 1st. Are you going to get the Sprinkle Squad to help? I have over a thousand <laughs> books to sign. And so um, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get it signed. So Mike is wondering, but, is anxiously wondering, and other people have asked about it from time to time, about the Christmas thing. Yes. Well, Christmas so I was going to show you guys the wreath here. So. I'm not anxious, Lily. <laughs> I'm just curious. This one is going to my sister-in-law. <clears throat> this is one of the videos that hopefully is going to come out while we're <clears throat> on vacation. Right? Uh, sure. <laughs> this one may or may not come out while we're on vacation. I think it will. Um... Then, I also made these two, and they are also supposed to come out while oh, we're on vacation, like but it may or may not more. happen. I huh? think I like the left one more. This one? Yeah. Looks more candy cane in my opinion. But that's just me. Because, see, well, I mean, on this one, I feel like you need to have a red ribbon going around a white thing, because usually... I should have, yes. White is the background. What I would have done with this one is done white as the background and then the thin red ribbon, but well, my I'm brain wasn't thinner. thinking at the time, so. But this one looks more like a candy cane. In my they look really nice. It's really and this plenty. video is supposed to come out while we're gone. Possibly you need to get a picture of this one while we're gone also. Oof, Dave's going to be working tonight. I was going to leave two days later with the boys than you thought. Okay, that <laughs> sounds good. Uh, uh Oh. So we have a, a package here. I'm going to cut a little bit of soap while this is cooking and we're talking, but we so, got a package. So Lori asks, I have a question regarding making your gravy and turkey ahead of time. I thought you had to leave the turkey and the juice to keep it moist, but don't you make the gravy with the juice? Yes. So what I do is I split up the juice and I pour some on my turkey to keep it moist and use the rest of it for gravy and just add extra water. Uh, yeah. By the way, your mom said... If you don't have enough broth and it seems too dry, that the uh, stuffing, add a little milk to make it more moist. There you go. All right. 
Okay, we got this package from Elizabeth D. in Berkshire, England. Both of these came from her in Berkshire, England. Oh, fan mail. And it says to both of us, so I'm both are to us. Wow. Mr. and so, Mrs. Hmm. I don't know. Mr. and Mrs. Michael Kelly. Okay. I don't see Elizabeth on today. So BJ is super excited about his new job. He's already looking oh. to save up to buy a house. And is making plans to move out. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Oh, oh, sorry. Did I say that maybe out loud? He can, maybe he can make room for us. I think right. he could. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, I see wow. something yummy. <gasps> oh, my. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Yum. Oh, look. Oh, Isn't that cute? This is what I'm going to have right here. No, it says Mrs. <laughs> Mom, can you hold what? it up again? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hold up Salted the caramel. Yeah, yeah. A cute little real English gnome. So, um, Smooth caramel. I love caramel. <gasps> so the other day on that video I saved deer Vegan just before chocolate? the smoke billows out. So mm -hmm. I was wondering, deer. Do we uh, know how long this needs to go? Yes, 30 minutes. Okay. And did you set a timer? No, but I'm watching the clock. Okay. Caramel. Caramel. <laughs> Melting pot fudge. I have no idea what that is. Melting pot vegan fudge. Orange Handmade chocolate. Fudge. That is vegan fudge. Kindle mint cake. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Oh my goodness, they have good food there. Deer meal. Oh, this must be, is this her town? Oh, here. Dear Tara, Mike, and family, just a small thank you for all your hard work. Oh, oh thanks. Thank you. So we know how much it costs to ship over here, so we appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the enclosed. I've been catching up on videos where you mention caramel, tea towels, etc. So I hope you enjoy the selection. I've split the gifts into two parcels as it's cheaper. Oh, that's good to know. I wonder if it's cheaper for going over there, too. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Mums. Okay. Do you want mums, flowers, dad's weeds? Oh, mums, flowers, dad's weeds. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That is cute. That's very cute. I'm going to go put that in my little coleus right there. Ooh, and look at a real English tea towel. Ooh, nice. Oh my, I don't even want to use that one. I might have to save this one for my kitchen table. Okay, let's <laughs> see what else we got here. I just like looking at this. You just like looking at it? I just like looking at it. Should we open the chocolate and give it a try? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of chocolate. Oh. You can have it. What is okay. this? Oh, well, she said she put it in two boxes for so yeah, but save on shipping. <clears throat> and another card. Maybe in case one got lost. Ooh, <gasps> Windsor, Windsor Castle. Castle. Whoa, cool. Same thing. Oh, that is wow, so I nice. I love your writing. Oh, galaxy. Oh, this is wow, melted. That is the coolest looking handwriting. Oh ever. no. Oh, it's oh instant hot chocolate. Should we turn on the teapot and try it? Like, oh no. Nice. Okay, turn on the teapot. What's this? All right. What is that? Oh, is this a pot holder? Oh, that is so it is. cute. I wonder if it's a wash rag or a pot holder because sometimes it's interchangeable. <coughs> oh, that is gorgeous. I've turned on the kettle. Okay, what is this? But ooh, Buckingham Palace tea. I wonder if this is what the queen drinks. Oh, I think my, this is what the queen oh, drinks. Oh my goodness. I was thinking she would drink Twining's Earl Grey. Oh! <laughs> this one would be... Ooh. Oh, you smell? That smells good. You know, actually, I wonder if that is their recipe. If it says Buckingham Palace Tea. I have no idea. Oh, huh. very it's cool. Her Majesty Queen. Queen Elizabeth II. Wow. Produced in the UK for the Royal Collection. Well, that's perfect for you then. Because she doesn't know she has competition over here, does she? <laughs> no. What is this? Just don't read anything. Your mom says save her some chocolate, please. <gasps> yeah. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, that that's probably going to be her most treasured oh, teacup Oh, I don't ever. even want to use it. Oh, wow. that is cute. That will Look be... at, oh, thank you so much. That will be her most treasured teacup ever, I think. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. 
<laughs> it's really cute. Oh, Elizabeth, you are so nice. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so she got me some real English shortbread that's gluten free. I love shortbread. Okay, let's try it here, shall we? Uh, oh, Barbara's asking when the books are mailed out, will they be standard mail? So mm -hmm. they're they're standard mail unless you selected yeah. priority. Yeah, it's media mail unless you chose priority when you ordered it. Holy uh, cow, that is On the good. priority ones, we will send them out priority when when we ship. I think we need to go to England just for the food. I'm telling you, I got jelly babies almost every day. <laughs> that is good. I probably shouldn't have had them that much, but... <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh my goodness, you didn't have to send us so much. But we're glad you did. Okay, should we try this fudge? You want to try this fudge? Uh, sure. Or do you want to try the mint cake? You like mint. Yes, that sounds awesome. You want to try the mint cake? Oh! Well, that's not cake. Oops. Okay, what is this? Legend has it that Kendall mint cake was discovered after a batch of peppermint creams went wrong. Now it's one of Cumbria's most famous products and is especially popular among climbers and mountaineers as a source of energy. Wow. The photo reveals Buttermere Valley in Cumbria, a gem your purchase helps support. Karen says, okay. that was so nice for her to send all those wonderful things to you oh guys. It goodness. really was. What Thank you that? so much. Okay. Whoa, that's not what I was expecting it to look like. Is it like a sugar cube? Mint Oops, cake. I you the so we should have showed people what it looks like. So it looks like a sugar cube, kind of. Oh, it's like a sugar cube. <clears throat> oh man, that's good. It's very, very minty. It has it's a, like minted. Sh the the texture's like pralines, isn't it? Yeah. But they're we very, very minty. Like this here. No, this is really good. Oh my goodness. Here, it's a super, piece? super minty flavor though. Yeah, like the like I'll the mint on the inside tiny, of a cho piece chocolate mint like those chocolate mint candies. You would like it, Dave. You love peppermints. Oh Dave will love this. Mm mm mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, send me a whole bag to this. Wow. That's really delicious. That's good, Thank isn't you, it? This is so good. Dave loves peppermint. That's his thing. Oh my. <laughs> Did you have your. Oh. You did all the fun Do you want to use this in the gnome cup or do we want a different cup? Sure. Okay, let's try it with some. Oh, we were going to do the chopped chocolate. Do you want me to rinse it out first? Nah. Because I would say if there's any dust in there, it's English dust, and I'm sure that's extra awesome. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, hold on. So pour hot water over hot chocolate and stir well and enjoy the smil silky smoothness. Did you say how much water to put in? It didn't say. Ow. Can you please send me more of this thing? Cute cup, love it. Oh, I love the mug. Y'all got okay. some nice things. Definitely. Pour it in here. <laughs> so Heather thinks you should plant a flower or something in the pot in the mug since you're afraid to break it. Yeah, I might have to. Oh, I would do more than that. I just wasn't sure if it would get too thin. No. There was a lot of powder in there, Dad. Okay. Stir and enjoy the silky smoothness. Dave, can you have me an ice cube it so we don't like, awesome. burn the height off of our milk? Denise says they would all like a piece. Yes. I wish we could share. That's really good. No, I don't. I don't want to share. I'm being selfish. Okay. Well, Tara doesn't want to share. I'm only kidding. Mike plays nice. Tara says, get it together, people. <laughs> Wait, this is for energy? Yep. Well, I mean, it's sugar. Feeling... I've seen stuff like this at Walmart with the same name. Well, let me try I've that. Seen mint cake. But... These cookies. What are they? English shortbread that's gluten free. But I doubt it's the same thing. I mean, mm. this is really mm. good. Mm -hmm. I bet if you dip it in chocolate, it'd be really in this. It's funny. Really good. It's more dense than American shortbread, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. Okay, though. here we go. It's really good. The taste is better than American shortbread. Oh. That is good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, they have it on Amazon. We need to buy Kindle milk cake. They have that Kindle milk cake on yes. Amazon? How much is it? It's not the same package, but it's like 20 bucks for a... For one of these little things? It's 119 an ounce. It's for a 19 ounce bar. 
Oh, 19 so, ounce bar? 550 grams. Oh, this isn't 19 ounce bar. So oh, okay, wants, so that must be a big bar of some sort. Kim wants to know what baking dish are you using? Is it on your Amazon store? I don't remember if it's on there. Is I that... don't know, but I did get it from Amazon. Oh my goodness, if a viewer sends me a whole this box This is really delicious. Stuff. Thank you, Elizabeth. This wow, is this so is a wonderful cool. gift. Oh. And thankfully, it'll all be gone before we have to share it with anyone else. Your mom wants us uh, to save some for her, no. but since she's been mocking you the whole show, I'm not sure we should do that. How's your stuffing doing? It doesn't have her name on it. Okay, should we try salted caramel? Here, mom, let's try salted caramel. Still. Uh, Lori, let's see. Um, where are Jill's tips for grocery shopping? Is that... I'm not sure which thing that would be. Mm. Oh, Dad, it's Karen's birthday! It's Karen's birthday? Mm. Karen yeah. McCall. Oh, All right. That is good. Have mercy. You guys have really good chocolate over there. Mm. <laughs> man, oh, man. I think Americans got snookered out of good chocolate. And they have really, really, really good mint cake. Oh. Wow. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mm. This is my favorite part of this job. It's getting all the sweet treats. Mm-hmm. Okay. That and is really good. And now I have a good. new towel for the center of my table. So that's a salted caramel. What brand was it? It wasn't Cadbury. Galaxy. Was. Galaxy, that's right. Actually, that's one thing Ellie and I noticed. The candies were really good. One, oh, my word. And the word. pastries were really good. We There was a Tesco just down <laughs> the street from our Airbnb. And we went, we were usually going somewhere every morning. We didn't have any cooking facility in our room, so we would stop at Tesco and get Wait. a couple of pastries or something like that them? every morning, and it was awesome. I want to see the nutrition facts on that mint cake. Yum. How many carbs does it have? <laughs> so, is it like a... Oh, oh it has no... It dear, has no Kira says she loves oh. the candy canes. They look beautiful. Wow, well, thanks. <laughs> 97.6 grams of carbohydrates. <laughs> well, it's pure sugar, I think. Oh my goodness. This would um, be great for it's got less than 0.1 gram of. <laughs> you have your shirt so, inside out. Oh, yeah. So, Elba wants to know if you. <laughs> Wait, no, it's only on this. Which one? Oh, yeah, it's inside out. <laughs> oh, is it my outer shirt? Oh. So, Elba wants to oh, know yeah, if you've yeah. ever tried making pecan and pumpkin pie combined. No, although that would probably be good. I think it would Maybe be. Maybe that's why I was so warm today. Okay, let's see. Do I need to stir this? She's reading the directions. Oh, I'm supposed to cover it. Oops. <laughs> so I've been walking around all day at the library with my shirt inside out. Oh, wow. Kathy said she had really good chocolate from Mongolia. It never occurred to me that Mongolia would have chocolate. <laughs> that's something Ooh. we don't hear every day. Danny says we should throw some salted caramel into the cocoa. That would be delish. This cocoa is really awesome, just like this, though. Oh my goodness, I'm having Was it the cocoa galaxy also? Man, it's really good. I need someone to send me more of that so I can go and do it. You know what? I, I like it because it's a, it tastes like dark cocoa. It's not super sweet, which is nice. Mm, but it's not dark either. It's like a cross between the sweet and dark. Mm. It's not real tart like dark, but it's not real sweet like our cocoa either. Mmm, that is good. Okay, let me show you guys here. <laughs> Everyone's saying your mom doesn't have a chance of getting that. Yeah. <laughs> here is my loaf of troll soap. Did that? Did those little dudes not turn out cute? Look at those little guys. Mm. Homemade soap making supplies dot com. Here's a cut piece that's cut. That right guy has there. Two different colors of hair. Do not Isn't that cute? Have... That is cute. Then, this is the last two soaps for my Christmas collection gingerbread. Ooh, let me smell it again. Mmm. Gingerbread right here. Here's the gingerbread for the Christmas sampler set. Click on soaps at homemade soap making supplies.com. This is so good. I and just... Christmas don't... cheer. Let me smell it again. It's a Christmas tree. Ah, I was trying to think, what is that smell? with my red and green, isn't that beautiful? So those are the last couple of soaps for Christmas. And then I'm done with Christmas soaps. <gasps> <What? laughs> 
Yep, I got a new soap cutter coming. Two Family says, oh my gosh, I need that entire loaf. <laughs> Troll soap, Isn't what? How cute? cute. How it's stinking so adorable. <laughs> it is super, super cute. Yeah, everyone's loving that. Wow. <laughs> Loretta says, I'm late joining you. I shouldn't watch this when I'm hungry. Yeah. Actually, that yeah, all these things that we got as gifts were awesome. Dude, Yay! I put that on my wish list for Christmas. So if anyone wants to send me like 50 bars of this Kendall cake soap, <laughs> I mean, not soap, Kendall mint cake, go ahead and be my guest. I would love it. You would love it, huh? Yeah. And if you're Please. if you're just joining us, we have made um, <laughs> we've made the stuffing and it's in the oven now. Yes, and we have about mm, five or seven more minutes, I think, on it. <laughs> so your mom says, <clears throat> BJ was so excited, and said, "Nan, this is a real adult job." <clears throat> the thing about BJ yeah. is he's really, really sharp at yeah. a lot of business things. He's, he's really very, sharp. He has been selling stuff since he was like. Well, he sold himself mowing lawns to the neighbors when he was eight. And so the neighbor had him mowing his yard. And then he started his own little lawn mowing business when he was eight and nine. And then um, he has sold on eBay. He sold cars. He sold mopeds. He has sold um, drones. He has sold stuff all the time. So this is like the perfect job to be a cell phone salesperson. And he loves cell phones well at some of the places where he worked he was giving uh he, he mentioned things to the companies about things that would improve the business not like it was just it wasn't like marketing things it was just it wasn't like he's telling them how to do their jobs but it was more like they're saying i wonder how we could do this and he said well what about this and yeah uh, and he brought in a lot of business for the pizza place when their marketing wasn't that great and he said well why don't you guys <coughs> you know do this instead and they were like, oh, well, yeah, that might work. And so... Um, so he's really got the skills in that department. So yeah. It should be... And uh, he's really good with technology. So... Yeah. I, and I, I think he's been our phone tech guy. So I'm thinking that this will be a good job for him. So... Yep. And so he's super excited. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara says I'll still keep him in prayers with his health. Thank you. He needs it. His back still hasn't healed from the car accident yet. We're waiting on the x-rays for that, but he is more hopeful now that he's got a new job that things can kind of settle down. And to his credit, you know what the first thing he said was? Now I have a job and I will be able to buy my own house. In Colorado, where the houses, housing prices are even higher than New York at the moment. That's crazy. That is... I am pretty impressed with him that he's determined to find a house that he's able to buy with his new job so and Mich do it on his own. M Michelle, he's he got a, a job, is it selling phones or mm -hmm. selling and maintaining phones? Or? Verizon, selling Verizon. Yeah. Yep. And it's, and it's a base pay and then he gets commission on top of it. And a lot of the people make three figures doing this. He's going to be supporting us. <laughs> and by the way, for all of you guys, yes, he has been planning on moving out even before this job, but he's been waiting because we thought we were going to go to Ireland next summer and we thought we would need someone to stay and watch the animals because he didn't want to go. Well, so he's been waiting to move out just for that reason. But now we're not sure if we're going to go to Ireland or not. Um, we're not quite sure if the finances are going to line yeah. up. <laughs> so, so we're trying when, to predict that now. When we were planning on going, the business was doing 75% better than it is now. So we, uh, we thought we were going to have the money to do it, but now we're not so sure. So... <laughs> I'm not sure which thing this was talking about, but Cheeky Saber says, you know it's good when Tara pulls off a piece from Mike and starts eating it. What was it? The, the caramel. Oh, yeah. Well, Tara will always take the first of the caramel, I think. <laughs> I like caramel's, let's see. Is caramel my favorite candy? Wait. I would say caramel's probably it's the my perfect, favorite. It's serendipity for you. Caramel and salt. I know. I know. Salted caramel. <laughs> it's like delicious. That's why I took the first piece. 
Because I fully appreciate it. Two Family Homestead wonders if we've tried Israeli chocolate. Did we get any from it? Israel? Yeah, it's really good too. Annika, Annika sent, sent us some, right? Yeah. I so. And she, hello, Cam. <laughs> Cam's up by us. <laughs> get it together, people. <gasps> Today, Prince Charles is 70. Do you think if we sing to him that the queen will allow him to watch it? I don't know. I was wondering if we mm. sing to him if the queen would send you a can of tea. Oh, Ooh. maybe the queen would invite us to the palace. I think if anyone could get invited, it would be you. <laughs> Especially if BJ was your representative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. So, how's the stuff? Is, you know how long it's been? It's only been 25 minutes, but I'll check it. <laughs> Thank oh. you, Mary. Mary says, I like watching your videos. We Don't appreciate you guys that. love it? When a fork appears in your drawer and you know it's not your fork and you have no idea where it came it's from. It's Gina's. Why do you think this is Gina's? I'm pretty sure it's Gina's. Is this Gina's? Because whenever we find dishes, it's usually Gina's. Maybe I should ask Gina if this is her. <laughs> she keeps leaving her dishes over here when she comes and ships for me. She keeps on leaving dishes, dishes, phones, chargers, everything. Yep. I now have a little Gina pile that I leave for her when something goes missing for her. Gina pile. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll totally use this for my cereal. We will be sending out notices, but for those of you who missed it, we are going to be, we're not going to be doing live shows next week. Uh, we're taking off for Thanksgiving. Two weeks. Well, Probably two weeks. And Wednesday the following week too? The two weeks from today, we will probably have a show. Ah, okay. So, anyway, we won't be doing shows over Thanksgiving. So, if you come and we're not here, that's why. But we will put out some inf more information for that. Oh, so. that's looking well, pretty looks good. good. Actually, it looks like a breakfast casserole. I think it's almost done. I think it is done. I think it's done. Mm. Okay. You think? Well, I don't eat stuffing, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, what man, that's tea? really good. <laughs> See, we now, it. for someone who has never made this recipe and doesn't eat stuffing, thank you. So I'm wondering... Oops, oh dear, sorry, I'm flinging it all over the place. <laughs> the Buster's appreciating it. <laughs> Is that good? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Here, let's try a piece with sausage. Well, you know if I like the other one, I'm going to like this one for sure. Well, then it's hot, hot, hot. So? <laughs> I was just warning you so you don't burn the hide off your tongue. Oh, you Susie, do we have a recipe for chicken strips? I'm too lazy to get them and get my Dining on a Dime cookbook. Do Not you? in the cookbook, but on the website. Livingonadime.com. Do chicken tenders, and they're really good. Mmm. That's good stuff. Did I well, do so good? Even with your improvising, it turned out great. Thank Actually, you. I think not having it covered the whole time was good because it's a little bit dried out a little bit more. I like it a little bit. I like everything a little bit more on the a little more crunchy than mushy. Yeah. And this is more crunchy, so that's really yummy. Yeah. And I was wondering, so when people put it in turkeys, it just gets mushy. Yeah. Don't put it in your turkey, guys. First of all, it's not safe because your turkey doesn't get cooked all the way through <laughs> and can't get cooked all the way through, but. It makes some mushy stuffing. So don't put it in the turkey, please. <clears throat> just um, just cook it on the side. So. <laughs> okay. Any more questions? Well, we had a birthday. What? What's this? Well, oh here, Jack. Can you hand me that um, little candle right there? <laughs> no, the one in front of it. Hi, Madeline. No, the one in that little. That little okay. Little. Let's see. I don't Special Let me just check to see if there are any other birthdays while we're here. <clears throat> well, too bad. Oh. Let's see. Oh, is it? I don't know how you say that's name. Shawnee. Which it's like Sean with an M. And oh, Shawnee. Shawnee. Is that how you say it? Uh, let's see. So I'm just checking to see before we light the candle up to make sure we get all the birthdays that have been mentioned. Are you going to Google how to pronounce it? Um, so... So I ripped the fingernail off my thumb, cooking the, or cleaning the <laughs> oven, even under the garage. Or I mean, even under the garage. Even under the glove. So it's it hurts. Karen and Michaela. So the glove doesn't work. What was his name again? 
Tovia. 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 Okay. Tovia. Gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> it may take me a couple times to remember. <laughs> I remember the other name was like uh, Eliyahu, which I think was Elijah. So anyway. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Karen, Karen Michaela, and Tovia. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. It was oh, her Michaela's granddaughter, Michaela. Daughter. Oh, sorry, Michaela. Yep. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yay. Okay, one more thing before we go. Put this in the description after the show, guys. But, so we were looking at tickets for Branson, and for us to go see Dolly Parton Stampede, is three hundred dollars i'm sorry i just can't justify three hundred dollars for two hours worth of wait you're talking about for dinner and uh, dinner and a show so oh. send me things to do in branson please please list it in the description below we'll check the next couple of days before we leave linda Jonathan. happy birthday tomorrow and prince charles we forgot to sing to him so now the queen's oh. not going to send you any tea okay here we go <laughs> okay we got to do it here we go. So for Linda and Prince Charles? No. Linda. It's Linda's birthday too. Tomorrow. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday dear Linda, Linda and, and Prince Charles. Charles. Please invite us to the castle. We beg you. We would love to come see you when we come over there. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Woo! <laughs> I right. think he's going to catch that. You know, I don't know. I've heard that. I've heard we have an insider that watches us in Buckingham. Who? <laughs> I'm not saying. This is like the witness protection program, isn't it? Oh, you know, <laughs> really? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm well, but I still have a little bit of the cough. So. Wait a minute. We had a few people asking what the troll soap well, smells like. What do you mean your son was just there? It was fifty-four dollars a person. Can you get cheaper tickets somewhere? Who are you talking about? Let me know, Sherry, please. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it was $300 for five of us. That's not even including BJ, because he's not coming. Maybe there's a better way to get tickets for it that we didn't know about. So, there were a couple people asking, what does the troll soap smell like? <sighs> Purple Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's the name of the soap. I think that means but... owl, like owls. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> um, but it is a berry mixture. So of strawberries, grapes, blueberries. <coughs> Sorry. With some greenery. It's like you're breaking your arm off. All mixed in there. So. <laughs> uh, Carol says Dolly is worth it to go see. <laughs> I don't know. $300? Wow. For two hours? Well, I gotta that, make a decision because tickets are selling out, but I don't think $300 is worth it. it. Well, it's funny because when Tara was asking Ellie and I yesterday, we were hesitating because we discovered that we like to do things that are not the most touristy. <laughs> of course, a lot of stuff in Branson is more touristy, but we tend to lean towards the things that are less. And yeah. so that was one thing we weren't too sure about there, but I've heard it's fun. But we just weren't sure. And if Can you guys email us, we are not dealing with email or anything. So. We will be completely absent from all social media, YouTube. <laughs> That's him. Everything. <laughs> he will be completely absent. Okay. So you we'll better be well. too. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, actually, me and this him might. vacation. We oh. might do an occasional live stream to be like, we're not dead. Check this out. We didn't fall off the roller coaster or anything. So. <laughs> Oh, but, Janice you know. says check Pinterest for Branson. Wait, Pinterest for Branson? Maybe they have, maybe she's saying they have some deals on there. Okay. So. Um, yeah. <gasps> okay, one more time for Daniel. Andrea, we just saw your Can You Sing for My Son Daniel. So yes, okay. we don't have a show tomorrow, but we'll sing today for his birthday tomorrow. All right. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Daniel. Daniel. Happy birthday to you. Blow it out, Jack. Woo! All right. Daniel, happy birthday tomorrow. Yeah, happy birthday. You All almost right. Thanksgiving, baby you. Wow. Okay. Um. Ooh. <laughs> two family. BJ first. will be here, two family. So if you want to ship it and just get it gone, you can. BJ's going to be here. 
so it's not a big deal. Yep. Uh, I have yes. not made gnome soap, Nancy. I should. It's my new mug from our viewer. Is that oh, not thank cute? you. Oh my. Isn't that cute? Lainey says this is the most enjoyable channel and Dolly Parton lover. <laughs> well, I love Dolly Parton. I just don't think it's worth three hundred dollars for two hours. I don't know. <laughs> oh, two family says they'll ask. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know. We just thought we'd kind of wing it when we got there and just see what we did. The milk in a jar is not ours, guys. Our neighbor went out of town, had extra milk, and told us to take it. I don't buy crazy expensive milk like that. <laughs> so Nancy um, says, love, love, love your last show. Yeah, if you guys have missed the last show, you should go see it. <laughs> it, it was actually a great Thanksgiving dinner, but at the very end, <coughs> we had a little uh, unexpected fire. catastrophe. Yeah, it was fire. downright fire. We actually uploaded a separate video that just has the fire. So, and what so for all of see. you guys who were worried about us turning off the stove, what you couldn't see because Dave was focused in on the fire was there was a beep on there, and that was Mike turning off the stove. So we did turn it off before we, you know, before we got to doing anything. So, yeah, we just. Um, we, we have, I don't know, we don't freak out completely in those circumstances, which is why I thought it was funny. Well, okay, and that was my time. other tip was keep some baking soda around. So if you guys have a fire, you can put it on there and stay calm and cook on. So, oh, thanks, Sandra. I'm so glad you like my wreath. Yay. I hope my sister-in-law will like it. I think she will. So everyone <laughs> was saying that they were so surprised that we were staying calm. That we were what? Me and Dave were staying calm. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, in, in answer normal. to that question, it's pretty normal. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> it's normal. normal. They've gotten used to Thanks. knowing what the fire procedure is around here. I want some more of that stuff. That's really good. No. That stuffing. Dad, not you if you're going to laugh at me. You may not want to push well, no, your mom's head. laughing at you. Of course, you're not going to give her chocolate. I still, for that. She's not getting any chocolate either. <laughs> See? Mm. Well, your mom's your mom, so. Um, uh, Kristen, I have the 2004 edition of Dining on a Dime. What's the difference between this version and the new one? The new one, uh, is it, is it, is the 2004 the same as the previous classic mm -hmm. one? Okay, so the new one has 28 more recipes. Mm -hmm. It has 100 more pages of 28 more recipes. Uh, kind of a story about, um, kind of how we've done the book all along and, pictures and uh, recipe cards, scans of the original recipe cards from a lot of the recipes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So so it's got uh, 100 more pages with about 30 more recipes and other stuff. So yeah, so yeah. It, yeah. it should be pretty exciting. And we we went through and we revamped, uh, you know, the classic one, the one we're selling now, we're calling it classic. Um, it's it's great, but the new one, we, we actually expanded the index <coughs> a little bit, yeah. made them a little more... Yeah. So I just had an idea. What? I know we're not working on our vacation. Mm-hmm. But you had but an idea. But we should have emailed all these places and asked them if they'd give us free tickets if we did a video on them. But then we'd be working on our vacation. I know. <laughs> okay. But if we save so we'll $300... Put, so we'll put that in the good idea basket. But if we save $300... Dave, go get the, go get the good idea basket out of but the But we would save $300. Wait, what's the good idea <laughs> basket? You know that round basket with the metal on the sides and oh, and the flames okay. next to it and the lighter match next to it, no, no, lighters no, and no. match next I mean, to it. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. no, there's that so. one too. <clears throat> but it is a good idea. Dolly is three hundred dollars for five of us, not each, but still, that's crazy expensive for just dinner and a show. Um, hmm. I don't know. Except I think you'd set up. All right, guys, we one. will see you two weeks from tonight. Have a very good Thanksgiving. Have an awesome Thanksgiving. Send Dave more. As soon as we get back in two weeks, we are going to start December 1st shipping the books that will hopefully be back by the printer from the printer by then. And today I talked two to the printer weeks. and they seem to think that won't be a problem. So. Thank you. We have over a thousand orders, so please be patient with us as we get them out. We will get them all out so they will get there in time for Christmas, but please be patient with us. We are going to ship them in the order that they were received. 
So if you ordered at the beginning of the sale, you'll get it quicker than if you ordered at the end of the sale. And then we will ship the Black Friday stuff, the Black Friday ones, after that also. Yep. Just so you know. But it will all get there in time for Christmas if I have to call in every single person I know to help us pack. And we probably will because there are a lot of orders. We will do that. And so. So, yay. Yeah. Oh, Shelly says, just found you last week. Love to you from British Columbia, Canada. I love British Columbia. I think we should go to British Columbia. No, I don't make cranberry sauce. I bite the little canned jelly because that's what I love. It just um, jiggles all over. If we go to British Columbia, could we pass? Ah. Oh. Maricela and Sammy's Halls, love your channel, guys. You guys save a lot of money, and I love it. I like saving and love learning. Aw, thanks. thanks. Great. All right, guys, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Have Go a great, great, great holiday. We are going to hopefully have a non-exciting, hopefully we won't end up in the, in the emergency room again next time we go. Oh, Last yeah. time we had to take Kelly to the emergency room. So that's why she's, <coughs> she's excited about going because she was sick. She the pretty last much time. missed the whole trip last time. She had to stay in bed the whole time. So, yes. Oh, Cheeky, if I came back to 100,000 subs when we got back from vacation, that would make my day. By the way, she we're going to do. Happy dance. Yeah, we're going to do a huge, <coughs> huge giveaway when we hit 100,000. I don't think we'll hit it by the New Year's. We'll give away but 100 bucks. We're going to do. I don't know. Thanks, Dave. No. We're going to do a huge giveaway when we hit 100,000 subs. No. So. Oh, we're getting all kinds of wonderful, lovely Thanksgiving messages from Thank everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. All right. We're officially on vacation. Bye. We are? Oh, yes. Sorry. Bye. No, we're not. We still have tomorrow, don't we? I have oh, to wait never a mind. second. Okay, in 48 hours, we're officially on vacation. <laughs> Cutting it now. Aw, how nice.